Um, what we're going to do for this one is, if you remember, yeah, if you remember, n represents our number in our sequence, yeah. right? So we have our formula. All we're simply doing is when we want to find n a sub 1, we would plug in 1 in for n. To find a sub 2, we plug in the 2 in for the n. Okay? I did that in my calculator and it came out different. Okay, so let's go and take a look. So I'll have negative 1 raised to the 25th, right? You understand that part. And then 3 times 25 minus 2. Does everybody understand how we, how we are evaluating for a specific term in a sequence? Does this make sense how our n represents a number in sequence? You plug that value in, right? All right, so what I'll do for this is we have a negative 1. Now, remember we talked about the reason why that alternating sequence works is when you have a negative 1 raised to any odd power, that's still going to produce a negative 1, right? And if it's an even, then it'll be even. So, or a positive one. So therefore, this is just going to represent negative one. It doesn't matter how large that number is. As long as it's odd, it's going to be a negative one. And then we have uh, 3 times 25 is going to be 75 minus 2. And then I can just follow my order of operations. 75 minus 2 is going to be 73. 73 minus 1. Yeah, I'll do that once. Oh, you didn't have to do 